Thank you for joining me as I discuss fecal egg counts. Before pastes and daily dewormers became customary, parasite management always began with a fecal egg count to determine if treatment was even necessary. Reintroducing this small step can reduce drug resistance, increase effectiveness, and minimize exposure to harmful chemicals by only treating horses with high parasite burdens. Nearly all veterinary clinics, including small animal practices, will conduct fecal egg counts and typically charge as little as $15 to $25. Simply co collect a small, fresh manure ball in a sealable bag marked with the date and the horse's information. The vet clinic will normally complete the test within 24 hours. This test will not only determine the number of eggs in the stool sample, it will also enable strategic deworming by identifying what types of parasites are present. Armed with this information, horse owners can decide whether or not to treat their horse. If deworming is necessary, I recommend the mildest medication that will effectively target the specific infestation. Two weeks after treatment, a follow-up fecal egg count should be performed to ensure that the parasite number has reached a safe level. It is important to know that pasture horses come into contact with manure, which could possibly be infested with worm eggs more regularly than a stalled horse does. It is often difficult and costly to pick an entire field on a routine basis, so as a solution, many people resort to dragging manure piles across pastures, which essentially distributes pa parasite eggs over the entire area. Regular manure removal will reduce the risk of excessive parasite exposure. I recommend doing a fecal egg count quarterly for a pasture horse during the first year of testing. The testing frequency can then be adjusted based on the results. You should always run a fecal egg count at least once a year, if not twice a year, for a pastured horse. Stalled horses live in a comparatively isolated life and are typically only surrounded by their own manure, reducing their exposure to parasite eggs shed from other animals. I believe a stalled horse still needs to be tested at least once a year, especially if the horse is turned out on a common area where other horses have been. I hope this helps you understand the basics of fecal egg counts. For more information about deworming and parasite management, please see my other video or go to the health library on our website. I am Dr. Mark DiPaolo and this video has been brought to you by DiPaolo Equine Concepts.